living corals actually grow quite similarly to folios corals in that the polyps grow outwards from their edges. And these free living corals can form discs or domes. When they start their life, like other corals, free living corals are actually attached to the reef, but they detach as they grow larger. So we have our small single coralite attached to the reef here and it grows larger over time by expanding outwards and eventually detaches from the reef. So here are some examples of these free living corals. Don't be fooled, these free living corals might actually seem to be mound shaped, but that's just because some of them form these dome like structures. In this species, there's multiple polyp and coralite mouths on the colony surface. You can see these coralites here as pits in the surface. You can also see the septicosti as those skeletal features running between the coralites here. The underside of the colony is quite rough with many fine ornaments and teeth along these uh, skeletal ridges on the underside. This is another free living coral. In this case, it's a coral with just a single central mouth and it's growing outwards as an expanding disc. You can see the scepter running across the top, the central furrow, and again, the underside has those ornamentations or fine teeth running along the underside. This is another free living coral, again with just one single mouth as a central furrow. This species forms a mound shaped in the center of the disc. So the, one of the ways we tell different mushroom or free living corals apart from each other is based on the shape of that central disc.